thought I was on here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> ben, there are only a few people who've established themselves in Hollywood as directors, writers, and um, actors. Um, there's Clint Eastwood, George Clooney, and then there's you. So what does that feel like to be in that category? Uh, that's a very esteemed company, but I, I'm sure there's uh, I could, you know, there's others. I, 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 that, that is extremely flattering. You know, I, um, uh, I think, you know, it's part of, uh, for me, just viewing movies as one whole thing. They don't have to be divided up and separated. Okay, you, you're going to direct, I'm going to write, you're going to act. But that's like, you know, you know, improvisation just in and of itself can be a form of acting, writing, and directing. And I've seen them as, as all as, as connected. Argo, when you watch the movie, it's almost hard to believe that this is a true story. Um, when you read the script, what did you think? Did you know about it? Were you surprised? I didn't know anything about it. When I read the script, I was amazed. And Chris Terrio is an incredible writer. He's the best writer I've, I, I've ever worked with. And he had taken this true story that was messy and all over the place and hard to understand and turned it into this incredible uh, three-act structure that was really compelling, that was funny, uh, that was fun to watch, and it was all still true. And that just blew me away. And having George Clooney as a producer, is he really that good? <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're referring to, <laughs> ma'am, but uh, George is uh, he's a good producer. We, we he, You know, you have a, a person who is, and, and Grant also, his partner, you know, who they're filmmakers and they've made films. And when your producers are in the, have been in the position that you're in and they understand what you're doing and they're as, as smart as those guys are, it's such an asset um, when you're making a movie. If you had to choose between directing and acting and writing, what would you choose? Directing. Directing. Why? I don't know. I just thought I'd say that. I get that <laughs> question all the time. I never answer it. I thought, um, no, I don't know. You know, I don't want to stop acting, writing, or directing, naturally. And it's a bit of a you know, Sophie's choice, uh, at least metaphorically. And uh, I love directing. In some ways, directing, you're still involved with acting and writing. You know, you have your, your hand in each. You know, when you're acting, you're not directing anything or writing it. So... But really, it's like saying, you know, I mean, what's the point? Because, you know, it's what I want to do all together, you know. I'm going to spill the beans here. You turned 40 this year, which is still Spilled very young. Beans. Um, but your life seems like a fairy tale. You seem like you have everything. How would you describe it? I would describe myself as very blessed. Uh, you know, it's true. I'm, I've been very fortunate. I'm really, really feeling very inspired by where I am in my career. Um, I, get the, I, I really I have children that I, you know, wife that I love very much. Um, and I'm able to do philanthropy that means something to me. So, you know, I'm just hoping to keep going in this vein because I, I, mean, I know I'm very lucky. Uh, you were 25 when you got the Oscar, is that correct? I, I think so, yeah. So where's it now? And do you look at it sometimes? And what do you think? <laughs> uh, it's in my house, it's in my, it's in our, little study room um uh i wouldn't say go by and look you know i mean go by and look at it and say hello um dust it off yeah, exactly it's a experience that was part of my life it, it was definitely a long time ago um and it's a really good memory and um you know it is what it is i want to say hello to the readers of tv movie bitte okay danke <laughs> auf wiedersehen wie geht's <laughs>